welcome. I'm here with Sandra Pelletier, the CEO, President, and Executive Director of EvoFem Biosciences. Sandra, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here. Let's kick things off by you telling us a little bit about your company and what it does. My company, EvoFem Biosciences, is completely focused on innovation in women's healthcare. And why it matters is that the first birth control pill was introduced in the U.S. market in 1960. And since that time, the market has been dominated by hormones. So our product, Fexi, is the first, and it is the only birth control product that has no hormones, no systemic side effects, and women only use it when they have sex. Just like men have had condoms for 150 years, they can have sex on demand. Women now can have sex on demand. They don't have to worry about suffering from side effects that are often created from hormonal birth control. And it's a really, really exciting, empowering product for women, especially now. Um, so we're, we're really thrilled to be here. Understood. And I think, you know, your first response there and what you talked about kind of gives a clue into this question already. But who is your target market? Can you really narrow that down for us? Yes. So our target market is any woman that wants to prevent herself from pregnancy. But there are 23 million women right now in the United States that will tell you that they are beyond hormones. They will tell you that they're divided into two categories. The first category is the 10 million women who are literally doing nothing. They are using no form of contraception whatsoever. And the other half will tell you they are using condoms, withdrawal, and the rhythm method. And they're doing that because they will say that the side effects are incredibly real. They will say they do not have sex every day. So the idea of taking a drug every day of every week, year after year, when they're suffering from side effects, it's crazy because they don't need it to save their life. So these women um, have said, look, not only am I beyond hormones, I don't have hormones in my milk. I don't have hormones in my meat. If chickens can be hormone free, I can't women. And so women are saying they're over it. They are just not going to take something every day that doesn't make them feel good. And the final thing I want to say is that we've seen a huge push of young women, 18 to 25, that are saying they're worried about their ability to get pregnant when they want to. And taking a synthetic hormone, they don't know what it's going to do to their body long term. And so you'll see that our base, the biggest users today are 25 to 35, but we've seen this huge, huge growth in the 18 to 25 year old market. And now that a lot of girls are back on college campuses, they're really saying to themselves, look, I want to feel as good as I should. And so Fexi is an obvious choice for them. Absolutely. Now, who are your competitors and what differentiates Fexi in the space that you're in? Yeah, so all of our competitors are hormone birth control products. So they are pills, they are patches, they are IUDs, and they are rings. And, and let me tell you the big difference. So Fexi is the only product right now, literally the only product that is indicated for preventing contraception, has no hormones, and you use on demand. So literally only when you're having sex. All the other competitors, you need to have their product in your body every day of every week of every month, year after year after year. IUDs, half of all women will tell you they do not want a product they can't control because once a doctor puts it in, if they're having side effects, they have to actually schedule a procedure to have it removed. So there certainly are competitors, but the competitors have hormones. Women want choices and they need choices. And there isn't one size fits all. And there really is different phases and stages in a woman's life. When she doesn't want to get pregnant, when she does want to get pregnant, when she wants to space her pregnancies. But the one thing we're seeing more and more is that women are saying it no longer makes sense to take something every day that they don't need. And so that's why Fexi is really becoming a household name. But yes, even though there are competitors, the final thing I would say is that instead of using investor capital to really look at an unmet need, and to really identify a huge market opportunity, a lot of our competitors just came out with lower doses of more hormones. Well, women aren't stupid. <laughs> if they can't take a hormone, they can't take a hormone. It doesn't matter if you put it in a new delivery system. It doesn't matter that you give them a lower dose. What matters is that you take the time and the energy and the effort to bring them something new. That's what we did. And that's why we're really proud to be here with Vexi. Got it. Now, there's also been a lot of focus this year on access to contraception, especially with recent events, the Roe v. Wade decision and everything else going on in our culture. But how is coverage for Fexi and how do you see it changing as we move forward? Yeah, so we started the year with 55% coverage. At this moment, we have 70% of our prescriptions going through. And what I mean by that is that 
The guidelines under ACA, the Affordable Care Act, say that if your product, if a contraceptive product is FDA approved, it should be covered at zero out-of-pocket pay, zero. That's what the guideline is. The reason that's the guideline, half of all pregnancies in the U.S. are still unplanned. So if there was a silver bullet, we wouldn't have half of all pregnancies unplanned. And the cost of those pregnancies is far more significant than the cost of covering contraception. So what we've already seen this year is we just got a huge, huge PBM win, largest PBM, 28 million lives. Every single week, even including today, we continue to get more wins. And what I mean is that there were some plans that were, quote, holdouts. They were waiting as long as they could. The indication was is that by January of 2023, they were going to be forced, heavy-handedly forced to make sure women are getting covered. There are 800,000 women that have cancer every year. They, and usually their daughters, their sisters, should not be using hormones of any kind. Our product is the only contraceptive product that they can use with no hormones on demand, but some plans were still blocking women, cancer patients, from getting our product. So we sent in all of these denials to the Office of Women's Health. We sent them into Secretary Becerra. We have been bombarding the government, frankly, to insist that women get coverage for an innovation. So it's gotten much better. It's growing every day. And now, to your point, with Roe versus Wade, access to contraception is critical, frankly, to save the women's save women's lives, make their lives better, make their quality of life better. So almost every week we're getting an additional win. Some of them are just small plans, but it still matters for access for women. Got it. Okay, now, Sandra, as we close out here, give us a quick look into the future beyond FEXI for contraception. What's next for Evofem as a company? What's coming down the line? In the fall, we will be able to share with investors a top-line readout of our phase three clinical study to prevent chlamydia and gonorrhea. So right now, we're the only product that will prevent women from getting pregnant with a non-hormonal contraceptive on demand. We will also be the only product in the world indicated to prevent chlamydia and gonorrhea. And in case, just for your listeners, Chlamydia is 4 million cases a year. Gonorrhea is 1.8 million. And those are the two largest diagnosed and prescribed sexually transmitted infections. The FDA gave us a fast track review. So investors can expect to see a top line readout in the fall. They will expect us to assuming positive results. We will expand our label. And by the end of 2023, we will be able to double our market opportunity because no matter what contraception a woman is on, she's still at risk of getting chlamydia and gonorrhea. So it's really an exciting and an incredible value proposition for women, for doctors, and for investors. Outstanding. Well, cannot wait to watch all of that come to fruition. Sandra Pellets here, the CEO, President, and Executive Director of FFM Biosciences. Great having you on. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it.